This is the grade 4 classroom of the Oshilimia Community Primary School. The school was established by the parents to help their children educated. Because the nearest government school is a long distance walk for the young children. The school has now grown and accommodates up to 73 learners in these makeshift classrooms. The parents have also employed 27-year-old Petrus Angula, a grade 12 certificate holder, as a teacher and a caretaker of the school. In their efforts to help their children educated, parents are paying the teacher $35 per month for learners in grade 1 to 2 and $45 for children in grade 3 and 4. Angula told our news team that he faces shortages of educational material. He said books that he has were donated by the neighboring schools, but they are not enough. When I came here, actually there was nothing. There was no any book. I only found uh, three literacy mathematics books and one business also for upper our OPE, they say literacy. Then I went back home to our nearby school. I went to look for some stuffs and books and chalks and everything. From there, work was going easier. So we struggled. The kids, some of the kids did not attend school. Some of them were like eight years, nine years, but they don't know A, even A, they don't know. So we started teaching them, but if you find now them and ask them to go in the alphabet or count for you one to hundred in English or Shwambo, at least they can do it for you. He said he is faced with challenges as some parents are unable to pay their monthly payments. Anyway, from let me say from the beginning, most of the parents they did not pay, but most of them are trying here and there. But uh, I'm still going on. I'll just go on. I'll still continue to fight. But I know by the time that I move from this area, uh, this area will look better. I know it will look better. I'll fight for it. Angola said he has employed two other youth from the area to help teach pre-primary school and grade one while he teaches grade two, three and four. For NBC News, I am Pandoran Nepembe at Oshinimea Village.